Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Good evening. Hello, yes, I can hear you. Gents and hello, Sam. What's hello. up? Early hello. today, huh? How are you doing? Very good. Sure. And you, Jancy? How are you? Very well. Ah, that's great. And, and you? How are and you and your... me? Nobody you asks have... me. I'm not important. <laughs> I'm, I'm not special. <laughs> or... huh? What about you? What about you? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm still a little sick, Jancy, to be honest with you. I'm still a little sick. Mm, sorry. Yeah, thank you. But I'm taking medication, so I hope I can recuperate soon. Yes, yes. It's horrible to be like that. Yes, I'm in Hopefully, hopefully, thank you. And tomorrow we don't have class, right? Yeah. We don't have class tomorrow? No, right? So uh, Friday. Entiendo que para recuperar la anterior, sí, pero... Oh, it's true, you're right. I must have a class with you tomorrow because the Independence Day. We didn't yeah. have class mm -hmm. that day, you're right. Thank you, Jancy. Okay. All right. You owe an exposition, correct? You own. Yes. You own an exposition. Okay, let me check my WhatsApp right now. And I'm going to see the image you sent me so I can share it with your classmates. Okay, I also have Emma. What's going on, Emma? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, not so good. Oh. What about you? Um, it's okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, Jancy, let's start with you. What is your, what is the last... What are the last four digits of your phone number? Can you tell me? Excuse me, can you repeat? Your phone number, your WhatsApp. Um, 6284, termina. I don't speak Spanish. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, well, wait. Uh -oh. 62, 84. <laughs> 70, 40, 62, 84. 84. Mm -hmm. Ah, se lo group. Oh, in the group? Yeah. Okay. You put it on the group. Okay. Let me I get it there. You, you resend it again? Solo le puse... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Oh, my favorite. It was my favorite, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. thank you for doing my favorite. I know it's not your favorite. <laughs> so you kind of please me talking about this character. So the um, questions are going to be random. So guys, prepare your questions for Jan C. Uh, once she ends her exposition. So... Let me wait for this to download. I think. There it is. There it is. I'm about to share. Mm hmm. Mm, I'm having a little problem. One second. Okay. 
That's very slow. Okay. I'll try one more time. Thank you for your patience. You are very patient. <clears throat> All right. Finally, is here. Okay. Ready, Jancy? On three, yes. two, mm -hmm. one. Let's talk about him. You see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, awesome. Go for it, Miss Melendez. <laughs> okay, okay. First, good night, good evening to everyone. And I'm gonna describe uh, Denzel Washington. He is an American actor. And as we can see, he's dark skin. Um, he wears a mustache and a beard. And beard. Mm -hmm. He has dark eyes, and I think he looks like a tough man. A tough man. Tough. He is like tough. tough. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. tough, tough man. He's sixty-seven years old. He wears chains and a leather jacket, and he wears an earrings. I think is the, the he wears gold chains, right? Gold chains, gold like gold, mm -hmm. like the like gold, like the material gold. Uh, okay. Gold chains, yeah. Oh, okay. And he's a very tall man. His height is one meter and eighty-five centimeters. Oh, and nice, nice. Okay, that's it? Yeah. Okay, get ready for your questions. Volunteers, go ahead. Guys, time what? is money. Uh -huh. Go ahead, go ahead. What color are his eyes? He has dark eyes. Excellent. Continue, please. Does he speak Spanish? Um, I don't know, but I think no, because he's American. <laughs> Or maybe because he's an actor. I don't know. So you think his Spanish level is zero? No, maybe no. As we can speak in English, maybe he can speak Spanish too. Maybe a few words, huh? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Good practice, continue. What color is his skin? Mm -hmm. He has dark skin. Do you like dark skin? Yeah. Okay, continue. How many Oscars does he have? Wow. Very creative question, Jessica. Can I research in Google? <laughs> of course you can. You can Google it. Google it. That's a good question. I love this kind of uh, participation, guys. Please imitate. Imitate. Making questions interesting from not making questions or making just random questions, make it interesting like Jessica. Good job, Miss 
See, she, Jessica took Jancy out of her comfort zone. Jancy is Googling some information right now, huh? That's great. Who's next after Jancy? Who else is pending the fixed position? Uh, Samuel, huh? Samuel, you're pending of exposition, correct? Marbelli also. Okay. Get ready for your expositions. Did you get it, Miss Melendez? I think that is a little, but let me come back. Okay. Somebody want to help uh, Jancy with that information? Yes. Uh huh. Which is, which is, um, his bear movie? His best. First movie. Which is his best movie? Ah, that's a good one. Which is his best movie? Oh, he has several movies. It's hard to, it's hard to say one. <laughs> yeah, man, I love this guy. Do you like this actor, Miss Castro? Man on Fire. Yes. Oh, Man on Fire. That's another one. Okay, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, guys. Due to the time, we're gonna cut it right here. Okay, Jancy, because we don't have we don't have too much time. But you did great. Applauses for Jancy. Applauses for the one who participated. Thank you for Jessica making it. Jessica, my poncho teacher. Jessica, rock and rolls. <laughs> I know. Uh, but 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 you can search the information. You can tell us yeah. later, Jancy. You can tell us later. Okay. okay. Get us the information. That's an interesting. That's an interesting fact. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who else? Jose. Are you ready? So, 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 let's do it, Mr. Sam. Let me find your picture. Where's your picture? Did you send it to my private WhatsApp? Uh, or you send it to the group? I sent to the personal WhatsApp. Awesome, awesome, awesome. No, 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 I don't need to go. Okay, 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 just a moment. I can hear you have a little noise in the background, Sam. Is that you? What's your phone number, Sam? 7024 6400. Uh oh. Seven zero two four six four zero zero. Gotcha, gotcha. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Prepare your questions. Prepare your questions for Sam after his uh, performance. Make it interesting. Take him out of his comfort zone. Let me see. Should be this one. Nope. Should be this one. Nope. Wait, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. Okay, there. Ready, Sam? Let's do it. Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. Uh, in this moment, I desperately uh, um, Joaquin Phoenix. He is Joaquin Phoenix. He is an actor for Hollywood. He is famous for playing the Joker in the Joker movie play and Alcas and decide by sorcery. He here, 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 it's uh, 
blonde. Se ve blonde. Your face is fine. He wear jacket, red jacket, and he wear a tie, green tie. Nada más. That's it. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have given us opportunities for basic questions. Let's complete the basic questions first, guys, such as height, such as weight, such as eye color. Let's go. How old is he? Is he in your fighting? Fighties. Okay, correction. Let's say he is in his 50s. He is in his 50s. Uh -huh. There are some corrections also I need to make you, Sam. Let me see. For example, uh, actor actor begins with the vowel. So, para decir un actor, vas a decir an. An actor. An actor. Okay? Famoso, famous. Repeat, famous. 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 Y el posesivo de él es his. Para hablar de sus características, yes. his. Okay, good. Yes. Next question. Next question. What color is his hair? Excellent. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde. Excellent, Sam. Next. Come on, Tania, Emma, Patricia, Natalie, Katia, Carlos. You are in this class. You're a family member. Practice your English. Use it now or lose it tomorrow. Why do you like this actor? Repeat, please. Why do you like that actor? You don't understand? Why? Why? Why do you like this actor? He is because 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 fucking funny. He's funny, he's cool. Oh yeah. yeah. Because because funny and because crazy. he is because he is funny because he is funny and crazy hey there you go watch your corrections applauses for samuel guys applauses for sam good job sam we have to move because of the time king mas me debe vamos a ver emma ready emma yes uh oh what is your phone number emma 71 oh, oh, but you posted on the WhatsApp uh, on the group? No, your personal WhatsApp. My personal, I don't have it, Miss. Can you repeat? Oh, what do we have here? Oh, Wendy. Who's Wendy? I don't know. Uh -huh. 9134. 9134. 9134. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. No problem, lady. Get your questions ready for your classmate. And let's start now. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Good evening, in the party. I'm going to describe my favorite singer. Uh, his name is Emma. 
He was born in California. He has white skin. He has brown eyes and hair. He is tall and slim. Um, he is wearing a black jacket. Mm -hmm. He has handsome, handsome, and he is a Christian singer. And he likes the way a uh, beard. Creo que así se dice barba. Beard. Ah, uh -huh, beard. Yeah. Esto. He wears a beard. Okay. That's it. Okay. Questions. Good job, Miss. Questions, please. Did you mention his age? But how old is he? Um, he has thirty-one. Do we say? Do we say he has or or he's? He's. he's yeah. Um, yeah, it's better when you when you talk about the age, you express it with the verb to be. Okay. I am 21, uh, you are 30, he's 25, etc. He is 31. 31. Okay, he's young, huh? Yes. How, how old are you, Emma? I am 22. <laughs> I'm sorry? 23. 23. Okay, okay, cool. Next question, please. Next question. What kind of what kind of music does he sing? Ooh, marvelous. He only sing Christian music. Can you repeat, Emma? Christian music. No, complete, complete. He, he does sing Christian music. Okay, the verb is sing. Okay, mm -hmm. so you need to conjugate it in third person. He sings. He sings Christian music. Correct. He sings Christian music. Applauses for Emma. Good job, Emma. Good job. All right. Thank nice you. job. ¿Quién más es pendiente? Sarita, usted está pendiente, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. ¿Quién más? Let me see. ¿Quién me le Yo levanté la mano. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm sorry, a finger mistake. Um, yo falta entonces. Oh my goodness, I get nervous. Este chico, vamos a seguir con la clase porque, bueno, pues también hay que devengar, verdad? Vámonos. Eh, gracias por su participación. Nice job. Quiero felicitarlos por la forma tan interactiva en la que participan, quisiera que todos pues en general se contagiaran con ese espíritu participativo en, recuerden ustedes que the more you practice, the better you speak entre mejor, más practicas mejor vas a hablar right? vas uh, adquiriendo correcciones del teacher Caleb y pues tú tomas notas de tus correcciones y pues vas mejorando esa es la idea Right. Um, do your best. Los que no han pasado, pues no se, no se aflijan. Eh, mañana también les vamos a dar un tiempito para que solventen. Eh, Sorprendanos porque están teniendo ustedes más tiempo que los demás para preparar esta uh, exposición. Ok. So, let me see. Today we're gonna go eh, right here. Let me see. Yeah, we'll finish this one. Okay, let me share my screen. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna learn today's objective. It's to listen to a dialogue where two people use modifiers. This is the thing, modifiers with participles and prepositions. Let's watch this video now. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi. 
Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No. She's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Ooh, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Let's check once again. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Okay, so first, let's identify let's identify the prepositions. In this conversation, there are some prepositions. Can you try to identify them? Two. Two. T-O. Yes, that's a preposition. One. I'm sorry? One. Uh, one, like the number? Which one? Okay, which one? It's a question, all right? Not a preposition. We're going to go and check prepositions. Can you um, identify the um, participles? Yeah. What are the participles? When the, in ED, maybe. The, in the third com group. Conjugation of the Conjugation, verb. okay. We're gonna clarify that after the video, okay? Let's practice the conversation first. Um, check it out. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Julia? Okay, uh, do you have any question uh, regarding the conversation? That's fine, okay, let's practice. I'm going to interpret Raul's role and you guys will interpret Lisa's role, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Hi, Hi Raul. Raul. Good, Good to, to, see, to you. see you. Where's, Where's my Where's mom? Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, oh, oh well. 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 Why don't you go? She doesn't know anyone here. She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, no, no. 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 Oh, wow. yes. 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 She's standing near yes. the window. Near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. <laughs> bueno, some prepositions, some prepositions are like this one with. With. Yeah, she went to a concert with Alex. Some participles, um, Jancy was mentioning about the participles that end with ed. Ella está mencionando los que terminan con ed, más que todos son los verbos regulares, right? Eh, a los que también terminan con ing, también se les llaman participles. Entonces acá, por ejemplo, she's standing, standing. near the window. Estoy usando un participle, eh, en este caso en ing. She's standing, es la que está parada, ¿verdad? Parándose, right? Near, near the window. Can you identify another one? Here, is she the woman wearing glasses? All right. So that's what we're going to practice. All right, let's move on. 
So we have modifiers with participles and prepositions, as you may see. Let me maximize this one. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and Okay, here we have modifiers with participles and prepositions. Guys, this is definitely very, very useful. For example, who's Raul? Who's Raul? This is used for you to identify people, for you to mention characteristics of people. Who's Raul? He's the man. He is the man. What am I using there? I'm describing, right? He is the man, and I can complete it with a participle. Wearing, he is the man, wearing a green shirt. Okay, using a participle. Which one is Raul? You can say who's Raul, or you can say which one is Raul when, it's, when there is a bunch of people. He's the one, you can say he's the one. Yeah, he's the one is more general. He is the man is more specific. Okay. He is the one talking to Liz. Talking. Talking to Liz. Repeat. He is the man wearing a green shirt. He is the man wearing he is the man wearing, he is the a, man green wearing a green shirt. Repeat. He is the man wearing a green shirt. He is the man wearing a green shirt. Okay, or he is the one talking to Liz. He is the one talking to Liz. Okay, you see? Very, very easy. Okay, we can be more specific. Who's Liz? Yeah, or which one is Julia, right? Who is Liz? She's the woman. Prepositions, with. With short black hair. She is the woman with short black hair. Repeat. She is the woman with short black hair. Mm -hmm. um, she is the tall one in jeans. She is the tall one in jeans. See, you can combine an adjective, yeah, with the number. She's the tall one. Ella es la alta. It's like in Spanish, right? She's the tall one in jeans. In. In. See the preposition? In jeans. In shorts. Yes? Okay. Plural. Who are the Smiths? Repeat. Who are the Smiths? Who are the Smiths? Who are the Smiths? Who are the Smiths? Plural. They are the people because it's plural. The people. They are. They, they are, are the people. people. Preposition. Are next, the to, people. Next, next to the window. window. Next to the window. window. Okay, okay, okay. Plural. Which ones? Which ones which, are which, the which ones? Uh, are, they are ones? the ones. Plural. Ones. Ya no es ones. You know, ones. They, they are, are the ones on the couch. The on, on the couch. ¿A dónde están? En el sofá, sobre el sofá, sentados, I imagine, right? On the, on the sofa, on the couch. Prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me, guys, who is Patricia Salazar? Who is Patricia Salazar? She's the woman. She's the woman talking to Liz. She's the woman who is wearing dress. Okay, okay. 
you can say she's the woman wearing glasses. Yeah, she's the woman wearing glasses. También en tiempo presente, right? She's the woman who wears glasses, pero aquí quiero que uses participles, okay? Excellent, excellent. Question. Who is Carlos? Who is Carlos Portillo? Who's that guy? I don't know him. Who's Carlos? You can send a chat, you can speak. Participate. He's the man wearing a black jacket. He's the man wearing a black jacket, really? He's really? The, the man wearing a, a red shirt. Red? Is it red, Carlos? I don't see you well. You need to put your camera down a little. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, red with all right. gray. Brown. All right, orange. 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 I see red. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Orange. Okay, 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 cool. Okay. So he is the man wearing wearing an orange and an, brown. An orange. In, in is a gray, or orange and gray, brown. or light brown t-shirt. T-shirt. A ver, usando otra forma, él es, he's the he's one. the one talking to Mr. Caleb. Yes, he's the one talking to Mr. Caleb. He's the one, yes. Otra, he's the one with short black hair. Ah, gran característica, ¿verdad? Ok, 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 puede ser. Ok, tratemos de usar participles and prepositions. Who is Katia? Who is Katia Serrano? Uh -huh. Model Katia. Who is Katia Serrano? Chat it or say it. Chat it or say it. Who is Katia Serrano? She's oh. very intelligent. She's the smiling like shit. Okay, tengo dos. Tengo Sandra and Jancy, right? Sandra, go ahead. He's the lady wearing um a black clothes. She's the lady. Oh, that's very elegant. She's the lady wearing a black blouse. Is that correct, Katia? Is it a blouse or a dress? A blouse. It's a blouse. It's All correct. right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Jancy. Did, did you have one example? Yeah. Uh, Katia is the one who, well, she is the smiling girl. The, one, oh. the smiling woman. Thank okay, you. okay, okay, okay. The smiling woman. Yes, she's very smiley. That's right. That's right. Let me see. Who else? Can you tell me? Can you tell me which one is Samuel? O sea, estamos bendecidos acá con chicas, verdad? Pero hay que hablar de los chicos. He's the one using uh, hell articles. I don't know. How can I headsets? say different... headset? Yeah. He's the one. Can you repeat this? He's the one. You. He's the one using headsets. Headsets. Yes. He's the one using headsets. Okay. He somebody else. The man wearing a white clock or purse. White white white, white watch. A white watch. Yes, okay. clock clock is on the wall. Okay. Okay, watch is on your hand. And purse is a woman. Purse is for a woman. Yes. Purse is for a woman. Okay. Okay. Can you can you try to give me an example using a preposition? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is the ones who is well. I need you to use with, in, next to, or on. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. He's the man that, that is tall. He is the man that is tall. He is the man that yeah. is tall. I, I podrías decir mejor, he is the tall one. 
Okay. He's, he's the, the tall, tall one. one. Y ahí puedes agregar una preposición. He's the tall one in t-shirt. Correct. In t-shirt. Correct. In a great t-shirt. Correct. Okay. Marvelous. Good job. Ok, quisiera ver a Marbelli, casi no te veo Marbelli. Uh, what about Jessica? Which one is Jessica Castro? Which one is she? Who's, she's the smart one. <laughs> she's the one. <laughs> she's the smart one. She's the, the, um, let's see. She's the woman. She's the woman who is no, but you're using who, but you're using who. I want you to use a participle, which is an ing, or a preposition in this case, Yancy. Uh, iba a decir una preposición. Yeah, go ahead. Pero no sé cómo decirla. Try, try, and I correct you. Uh, you try first, and then I help you. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, no worries, no worries. Chill out. Recover okay, yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, she's... Okay, she is the woman who is behind, I don't know, behind a picture. Ah. Or maybe a hell. She's the woman who has a picture behind her, behind her. Right. Uh -huh. that's the idea okay that's a good idea yeah she's the woman who has a nice picture behind her yeah that's jessica okay she's the woman in a purple blouse correct purple. yeah in a purple pink? blouse or pink i don't know my camera's colors maybe are a yeah. little <laughs> disconfigured okay let's continue people I it's think fuchsia it's <laughs> okay. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. All right. Do you have any question about this topic? ¿Quieren seguir practicando un poquito más? Natalie, dime. Sí, yo no entendí la última pregunta de los ejemplos. When we use modifiers with participle. ¿Cuál pregunta? Which question? La que decía, which ones are the Smiths? Ah, ok. Ahí estamos hablando en plural de una familia, right? Es como decir, Smith is a last name. Es como decir, ¿quiénes son los Alvarados? Right? Who are the López? Right? Eh, por el apellido. Es como que te refieras a la familia entera, right? Who are the... Um, who are the Ramos? Who are the Portillos? Who are the Castros? ¿Quiénes son? ¿Ya? Por eso es que okay. contestamos en plural, ajá, porque son varios miembros de la familia, ¿verdad? They are the people or they are the ones. Ajá. Okay, very well. Any other question? So far, so good. Okay, this is your knowledge check. You must complete. Okay. Okay, let's go to objective five. It's lesson five and here's the new objective. We're going to learn about present perfect and present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. Very tricky topic. 
Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Two. Have okay, you, you guys have any unfamiliar word or expression you want to talk about? Is everything clear for you? Streetcar is... Streetcar. Oh, ah. Carro de carrera. Okay. Fíjese, mis, que esos son los carritos chiquitos que hay en los estados donde tú puedes eh, viajar. Eh, en realidad, en El Salvador no tenemos así, ¿verdad? Streetcars. Um, but in the United States, it's like an attraction for them. Streetcar. Ya les voy a mandar ahí a picture or something. Let me see. Streetcar in the U.S. It's a it's a mean of transportation, especially for tourists in the U.S. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Es un medio de transporte, un streetcar. Ahorita te voy a mandar. Let me see. Okay, any other question, people? No more? Let's practice the conversation. I'm sorry. Tania? What is the meaning river boat? A river boat? Es un, es un, en el río, mis? Eh, hay unos okay. eh, botes que tú puedes tomar en el río para dar un tour. Ok. So, that's a river boat. Es un bote especialmente para el río. River. River boat. Ok, thank you. Ok, ok, ok. Somebody else? No more questions. Okay, let's check the conversation. Let's listen and repeat. It's great to see you, Todd. It's, it's great, great to see you, Todd. Have you been? Have you been in New Orleans long? Have you, have you been, been in, New in New Orleans long? Have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been? Have you been have in? Have you been? Have, have you been? been, you been long? 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 Repeat. Just a few days. Just, just, just a, a few days. days. Just a few days. Just, just, a, few just a few days. days. I'm really excited to be here. I'm, I'm really, really excited, excited to be here. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. I can't, I can't wait, 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 wait to, to show, show you the city. city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been, have been, you been to a jazz club, 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 club yet? Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have already, already been, been to one. I've already been to one. I've already been to one. 
Oh, well, uh, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, well. I've already done that, too. 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 Have you ridden? Have you ridden a streetcar? Have you ridden a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Actually, Actually that's, that's how, how I got, got here today. today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Well, well is, there, is any, there anything, anything you, want you want to do? Want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. You know, you know, you know, you know I really just, I really just, I really just want, I really just want to take it easy. I really, I really just want to take it easy. Wow. I really just want to take it easy. I really, I really just, want just want to take it easy. Wow, my feet are killing me. My, my feet are, are killing, killing me. me. My feet, my feet are my killing feet me. Are my are feet killing are killing me. me. My feet are killing me. Do you understand the conversation, guys? Yeah. <laughs> okay. How do you understand this expression? Actually, Realmente. actually, huh? Ah, Realmente. Correct. That's how I got here. En realidad, así es como llegué, right? So what we have here is the present perfect question. Have you been to New Orleans? Um, have you been to a jazz club yet? This been is really common, right? Have you been to a jazz club yet? Right? Ya fuiste. Has estado tú en un club de jazz? Aún? Yet? Right? Uh, yeah, I've already, already. Repeat, already. 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 Lo vamos a usar cuando ya, hizo, ya hemos hecho esta acción. I've already been to one. Yo ya. Yo ya he estado. Yo ya fui. I've already been. I've already done that. I've already done that. Practiquemos. Have you been to? Repeat. Have you have been, you to? been to? Have you been to? Have you been to? O podemos practicar eh, directamente con actividades, pero aquí, guys, tenemos que usar el PP verb, right? The past participle verb. Y aquí se aplican los verbos regulares que mencionaba Jans y los que terminan con ED, los irregulares que tienen su propio participio, o los phrasal verbs, que son los verbos fraseales. So, Have you been to, I have a question for you guys. Have you been to a different country yet? No, never. Have you been to a different country yet? No, I not yet. <laughs> I have been not yet in another country. Okay. Now, this question It's a just no question, but in present perfect. Okay. So if it's affirmative, you will say yes. What? I have. I, I have. Decir, been. Uh, I have. Yes, I have. I have. Okay. Puedes decir yes, I have. Puedes decir oh, yes. No, I haven't. I already. I already, y das el verbo que estás usando, ¿verdad? El pasado participio. ¿Negativo? No. I haven't. Haven't. 
Yes, no, I haven't. Okay. So again, my question is, have you been to a different country yet? I haven't. You haven't, Katia? Uh, yet. Not yet? Is in this moment. No, yet is like, like, aún. Es como, um, oh. in, in the Spanish is, um, has yes, estado I tú have. en otro país, como, como, yes, como I ya. Have. You have, ah, nice, nice, mm -hmm. you have. Okay. Entonces ahí, para confirmar, I've already been to, uh, to Guatemala. I've already been in Korea. Be, uh, Korea. I already been to. I already South been to Korea. South Korea. I already South Korea. Ah, nice. <laughs> Did you yes. learn any? It's any spectacular. Spectacular, huh? Fascinating, huh? Yes. It's unique. Any any word in Korean? Yes. I uh -huh. work for six months. Oh, you worked over there. Okay. Oh. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. The language? How's the language? Uh, we have traductors. Translators? Translator. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. To Spanish. They the didn't. Spanish is very used there. Use over there. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, didn't, didn't they speak English? Yes, a little. A little, ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. Hey, what about you guys? Have you been to Have you been to a different country yet? Yes, I I've already been to Peru. Peru. Nice, yes, I have Miss, ¿y por qué se ha puesto? O yo le puse a usted, Ticha Caleb, le he puesto a usted, Miss. Yes, you. I did, oh my God. Y mire, aquí yo también, dos teachers, Caleb, hay ahorita, oh yes. my God. Y como, what is your name? What is your name again? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, last name? Mejía. Mejía. I'm sorry, Miss Mejia. I don't know what happened. Okay, Miss Mejia. So you have been to a different country. Uh huh. Hey guys, have you been to have you been to Surf City yet? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. You haven't? Okay. No, I haven't. Y aquí yo puedo ser más puntual eh, usando los verbos en pasado participio um, the verb for example try is regular tried tried have you have you tried Chinese food yet Yes, I've tried. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. Y ahí puede ya puntualizar. I've already tried uh, Chinese food. Yeah? But the short answer, yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay, be careful, be careful. Um, guys, have you, have you had your dinner yet? Yes, I have. Yes. yes. No, I haven't. I have. Yes, I have. Okay, okay. Sandra, after the class, you're going to. Okay, me too, me too, me too. That's good. That's good. Good practice. Good practice. Okay, let's practice this conversation, okay? Um, we're going to do it this way so we can separate your pronunciations. All the ladies are going to interpret chants, okay? And all the men in the class, that means Carlos, Samuel, and myself, we're going to interpret Todd. Please provide your best pronunciation at this time. Let's start on three, two, one. Let's go. 
It's, it's great, great to, to see, see you. you. Have you been uh, in New Orleans long? 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 Yes, just a few just days. A few day. days. I'm, I'm really, really excited, excited to, be to be here. here. Be here. I can't I can wait, 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 wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah. 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 I've already, I've already been, 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 been to one. one. Oh, oh, well. 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 Actually, actually, that's how I got go here today. Well, well, well is there anything you want, you want to, to do? do? You know, no. you know, I really, I really just take want to take, take it easy. easy. My feet, my, are feet are my feet are killing me. Sam, here. Got. 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 That's how got. I got here. Got, got is the simple pass of get. Get. Got. That's how I got here today. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, let's continue. Written in a streetcar. Okay, so what happens in the conversation? Jan is is telling Todd about so many things, but actually Todd has done everything already. <laughs> That's why she said, "Is there anything you want to do?" Because he already uh, he he has already done the riverboat. He has already uh, been to a jazz club. So all the funny stuff going on there at New Orleans. Press a lot of fun. People. Actually, really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Already. Repeat, already. 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 Yet. 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 Uh, yet. Vowel sounds. Vowel sounds. Yet. 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 Jet. Jet is the is the aircraft. Be careful. Jet. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So your the pronunciation is very delicate, guys. Yeah. Yet. Yet. Okay. Yet. Now remember. Already. This is in present perfect, okay? Present perfect. Now, already, already. we use it in affirmative statements, okay? Yet. Yet, we can yet. use yet in questions. Yet. Questions. And also negative statements. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on these new tense. Okay, due to the time, we're not going to finish this video, guys. We'll finish this video tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow we have a class. Um, and let me, give you the, um, let me give you the homework for tomorrow. For tomorrow, I want you to create at least two questions using have you, okay? Have you, okay? I want you to make a question using present perfect. For example, have you eaten? Have you eaten Korean food? Have you been to a different country? Have you drunk wine? Have you slept um, more than 10 hours? I don't know. Make a question, okay? Two questions. Two questions. Tomorrow we're going to have a little conversation using present perfect. 
ok y um, bueno debo eh, recordarles chicos que estamos en periodo de inscripción ok me pidieron encarecidamente que les tomara un momento para recordarles que ustedes tienen que estar pendientes de su inscripción para que ustedes logren su continuidad esto no es de parar esto es de seguir hasta llegar al nivel óptimo entonces Trabajen, por favor, en sus documentos. Creo que es algo que ustedes tienen que trabajar, ¿verdad? Creo que ustedes ya saben el proceso. Eh, ayúdennos con eso para poder, pues, inscribirlos a todos ustedes y que no se quede nadie y, pues, seguir en el siguiente nivel. Eh, ¿Qué más les iba a decir? I think that's it. Y la tarea para mañana, pues, es que vamos a tener uh, dos preguntas con el Present Perfect. Recuerden que mañana hay clase por la vacación que tuvieron en eh, in the Independence Day. ¿Ok? ¿Any questions before we disconnect? No questions. No question. Guys, diez minutitos antes mañana por los que nos faltan las exposiciones. Jancy, ¿tenías algo? Tomorrow I won't be here. I can't. Why? You have an emergency? No, I'm a dentist. Oh, okay, okay. So you don't do anything on Fridays. Okay, okay. Teacher. Yes. Me repite la tarea. La tarea, vaya, miren, mis, lo que va a hacer es que va a hacerme dos preguntitas así con el presente perfecto. Pueden irse a Google, Google it, ¿ok? Googleen ahí preguntas y nos hacen ustedes con el present perfect, usando have, ¿verdad? Este es el auxiliar que se usa en el present perfect. No se preocupen, mañana vamos a ahondar con este tema, pero lo que van a usar es el pasado participio. Si se fijan, been, written, call, eaten. Entonces, todos estos son eh, la tercera columna de la lista de los verbos, ¿verdad? Esa lista de los verbos que les pasaron en el nivel básico. Ahí va el presente, ahí va el pasado simple. El tercero es el present perfect. Entonces, ese es lo que vamos a estar usando mañana, ¿ok? Natalie, dos preguntitas para mañana, ¿ok? Ok. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Creo que mañana ya voy a estar mejor, primero Dios. Ya lo voy a poder molestar más. All right. <laughs> good night, everyone. Good I night. love you guys. Have a Thank good evening. You. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.